Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am announcing the second annual Muñecas, Poupes and Dolls BJD Scholarship. I want this to be an annual thing every year. I, I'm a little late this year because my intention had been to give it away on my birthday each year. I haven't been feeling great physically the past couple months, so a lot of my projects got kind of put on the back burner. But I wanted to do it before 2021 is over so that I can officially say this is an annual giveaway. So we're doing it now. And I want to give you guys all the rules and the requirements for entering. This is my way of giving back to the doll community. The doll community has given me so much. I've gotten so much love and so much positivity from the doll community. And this is my way of giving that back to you guys. So I've got my cheat sheet here. I'm gonna go over how to enter and some of the rules of entry and things like that. And then we'll talk about the fun dolls you see here on the table. So the recipient of this scholarship is gonna get a $600 scholarship award. That, that can be spent on the BJD or the doll of your choice. So for example, I show a lot of dolls on my channel that are not BJDs. This is a Lavendae Poupes wooden doll. You could choose this doll as your winning doll for your scholarship if that's what you chose to do. And that is just, I showcase a lot of different dolls. Um, mostly I showcase BJD, so I am calling it the BJD scholarship, but if you've got a different doll in mind that falls into that $600 category, we can certainly work with that. Um, it is up to you, the recipient of the scholarship, as to what doll you choose. So there's a little bit of work involved and you do have to make a video. So you have to make a video entry. My thoughts on this, a lot of people last year didn't particularly like that, but my thoughts on this are I put myself out there every day. I put my face out there and I want to get to know the person to whom I'm gifting a $600 doll. So you do have to create a video entry just like last year. So the rules, the rules for this are you must be 18 years old. Last year I got a lot of questions, well I'm not 18 and I kind of bent that rule a little bit. I cannot bend that again this year. It's non-negotiable. You do have to be 18 years or older to enter the scholarship. My channel is an adults only channel. It's an 18 up channel. So, and there's some legality involved with giving away things to minors. And so I didn't quite fully grasp all that last year. I understand it for this year. So you do have to be 18 years old in order to participate in this. The second rule is this is open to anyone in the world. If you watched last year, you saw I had a South African winner, a Canadian winner, and there were two winners from the States. This is open to anyone in the world. However, the third rule, custom, customs fees are the responsibility of the winner. I know that a lot of countries charge um, what I would consider exorbitant customs fees. So if you win this scholarship and you're not in the United States and you're in a country that charges customs fees, you might want to consider is the doll you want available in your own country so that you can avoid some of that. I will purchase the doll and ship it to your address. So you are going to enter this video and you're going to tell me the doll that you would choose. And so this year what I want you to do is I actually want you to go ahead and choose a doll. I want you to choose the dream doll that you would want to win for the scholarship so that I kind of have an idea of what we're working with and um, I will purchase that and ship it to your address. The max limit is $600 including shipping but if your doll doesn't come out to $600 you can use the extra funds for clothing on Etsy, wigs, whatever, whatever you can find that falls under that $600 limit. So you basically get $600 to spend on a doll and if the doll is less than that, you can use the extra for other accessories. If you are a close personal friend of mine, you cannot enter. I'm sorry guys, that's always been the rule just because it's too hard for me. It's hard for me to say no. <laughs> it's really hard for me to say no to my friends, so I cannot let you guys enter. You must fill out the application form and all of this information is going to be linked in the blog post on my website, which I will link below. So you have to fill out an application form through Google Forms and you have to submit a video that is no longer than 10 minutes. You must show your face in the video this year. And so that was a question that I got a lot last year. Well, do I have to show my face? I need you to show your face because I can't connect with you if you're not showing your face. The winning application video is going to be posted to my YouTube channel. So once you submit that video, if you are the winner, it will be here on my YouTube channel for everyone to see. So in return, I ask for either an unboxing video when your doll arrives to be posted to my YouTube channel, or you can send me unboxing photos to be posted to Instagram. 
Furthermore, if you want to do an unboxing for your own channel, if you have your own YouTube channel and you want to do that unboxing, you can do that for your own channel and send me the link and then I can post it on my channel in my feed so that people can see it. I just want people to be able to see the doll once you receive it and kind of you know learn about the doll a little bit because I think that's one of the things I love about unboxings is, is that you learn about a doll and you learn someone's first impressions and you kind of see things about that doll. So number 11, you must be somewhat active in the doll community, whether it's posting content yourself or interacting with other doll content. So I had some people enter last year that they've never commented on a post of mine. They don't, you know, as far as I know, they're not active. Now I'm not saying you have to be one of my followers to win this. It would be nice if you're following me already. Um, if you know, you're applying for this, like following me on Instagram, subscribe to me on YouTube. I don't require that but it would be nice. But I do at least need to see that you are following active doll accounts, that you are you know, commenting on things and posting on things, um, whether you have a doll or not. If you don't have any dolls, I would expect that if you're that interested in this scholarship that you would be commenting and posting um, and following other doll content creators. So for your video, there are four things I want you to tell me about in your video. Number one, tell me a little bit about yourself. I want to know who you are, where you're from, you know, just a little bit about yourself so that I can get to know you a little bit better. Number two, I want you to tell me about the, your favorite doll you had as a child. Or if you didn't have dolls as a child, tell me about your favorite doll that you have now. Number three, I want you to tell me what your dream doll would be if you won the scholarship. You need to have clearly identified the doll you're looking to purchase upon winning the scholarship. So you need to have a target in mind, decided upon, and you, I want you to tell me what that doll is in your scholarship video. And the last one is, and this one's hard, I know it's hard for people, but it's always interesting to hear people's answers. Tell me why you want to win the scholarship, and I, I get it, that's pretty obvious but just tell me why I should choose your application. So that's kind of your opportunity to say, I believe I deserve this because blah, you know, whatever you want to say there. Um, to submit your video, you need to upload it to Google Drive, get a shareable link and paste it into the application. So I'm going to send you, you have that application form. The link is in the BJD scholarship description on my blog post and you will need to upload your video to Google Drive, make it shareable, get a link, and you'll paste that into the form where you apply for this. I'm also using a rubric this year to help me kind of grade the applications. I did this for the Doll Artist Grant and that helped me immensely because it takes some of the emotion out of it for me because it's very hard, you know, I'm, I'm a very, I want this to be as objective as possible. I don't want to be, you know, favoriting one thing over another. So the rubric helps me stay more objective and like, look, is this person actually meeting the criteria that I've asked for? So you can download a copy of that rubric and look at it um, to help you, help guide you as you're making your video. So I'm really excited about doing this. Um, also, oh, let me talk about when it's due. The applications are due by midnight Eastern Standard Time. So that is um, East Coast. So if you're not sure what time that is, go to your phone, go to your clock app on your phone and do New York City. I'm on the same time as New York City. So midnight New York City time on December the 22nd, your applications are due. That gives you a little more than a month to kind of get things together and get this posted. The winner is going to be announced on December 24th. If you celebrate Christmas like I do, that's Christmas Eve and that's always like a really big day of celebration for me and my family. And so I want to announce that then. And it's going to be basically a new doll for the new year. So at some point in January, February, we will get your doll to you, assuming that you're not waiting on a pre-order. So let's talk about that and let's talk about some of the dolls that, that you could choose for the $600 scholarship and how that would work. So these are all dolls up here now, not necessarily in the states that you see them in, but these are all dolls that could be gotten through this scholarship. So let's just kind of talk about them a little bit. A Lavendae Ipupe's doll, you could get a full set small wooden doll. Now again, this is not necessarily a BJD, but this is a beautiful wooden doll. You could get this. Now her wait list right now is about a year. So if you chose this doll, the way it would work is I would place the order with Lorena for you. Um, you could talk with her about all the details you want. And then whenever the doll's ready, it would ship to you. So there would be a wait period for something like this. 
you could get a little fee and you could probably get a lot of extra accessories for a little fee from Denver Doll Emporium, for example, because a little fee, I think with a face up, I think is around 350, something like that. And then you would have extra money that you could spend on wigs, eyes, accessories, clothing, etc. So little fee is a good option. You could get an Atelier Mimoni Petusa. Now the Petusas in this price range, I think are gonna, they're gonna be nude, but I believe we can get you a factory face up in that price range. So especially if you're in Europe, these are European dolls. Uh, Lola is in Spain and you could get one of these dolls and that could be your these are amazing dolls too by the way this could be your scholarship winner now you wouldn't get a lot of accessories with that but you would have the basic doll and the cool thing about these dolls is they can wear barbie clothes so even if you don't have any funds for extra accessories right from the get-go most doll collectors i think have access to barbie clothes another doll you could get um nude and blank is the amazing house of babes doll i love these dolls so much they are the same size as popovi so they can wear popovi clothing they have their own unique wig size but i love these dolls this is a high fashion doll that you could use your scholarship winnings to get i think they're so beautiful george is an amazing artist by the way let me tell you a little bit about george i have um asked george if he wanted to do an interview on my channel now george is a more private person than I am. Obviously, I'm very extroverted, and I saw one of my friends who's introverted posted something on her Facebook the other day that said, people ask introverts to speak up all the time, but they never tell extroverts to shut up. And so, I feel, I feel kind of bad, like I'm that person. So I'm not gonna press him for an interview, but George, if you ever watch this and you wanna do an interview about your doll line, I will fly back to New York so we can sit in the same room and do it together. I'm just gonna put it out there. I'm not gonna bother you about it again. Okay, so that now that I've said that, love his dolls, love him y'all, he's an amazing person. All right, next up you could get a Pasha Pasha Simply Beautiful. Now that doll's gonna be blank and nude as well. Um, and you're going to have to figure out face up and clothing options. Of course, I can help you with that, um, but it might be good, you know, if you have face up materials on your own, which those can be kind of expensive. If you're a newer collector, you might not have that stuff, but maybe you can find a face up artist in your own country to help you get a face up for the doll. Simply Beautiful dolls are another amazing. These are two, both of these are high fashion, amazing dolls. So if you're into fashion BJDs, I can't recommend either one of those enough and those would fall into that scholarship winning price point. You could get a Napalm Dolls Hush whenever there's another pre-order. So that's the thing, That's the, I didn't mention that about the Atelier Mimoni Petusas, but that's the same with those. You do have to wait for a pre-order to open. So I said, you know, you would get your doll in January or February. That's same thing with these two dolls. With most resin dolls, there's gonna be an ordering period. And so what you need to do is you need to have in mind what you want and then you just have to wait until the ordering period opens. And I'm very good about watching ordering periods. So for example, if you're wanting a Pasha Pasha Simply Beautiful, I will watch the countdown clock. I will be there when they drop and I will buy it for you. Um, same thing with like the Petusas. Uh, I can help you get one of those. And you know, with the like Napalm Dolls Hush, we can wait until a pre-order period opens. So. For Hush, I believe she's gonna be blank and nude at that price point. We might be able to get you a face up at that price point, but I'm not sure. Um, another one you could get is a Kim Arnold trinket doll. These are her 12 inch trinket box kids, and you can get an artist full set um, at that price point. This is an artist full set, and her dolls are very, very sweet. If you like this sort of age of doll and this size of doll, they can wear little darling clothes. Um, there are a lot of little darling clothing makers out on the market, so that's another good choice. Another great choice is the Isla Dolls line. Now, Isla Dolls, she has a Patreon, which I am a patron of, and you can do with her dolls, this is cool, she opens a window each month for a $500 um, a $500 patron and you get to choose your custom doll like resin tone stuff like that so that's something you could do if you wanted to get one of these Isla dolls 
dolls <laughs> with your scholarship, we could do that and you could fully customize the resin doll that you're gonna get. Love these dolls a lot. I think these make a great first BJD. People ask me a lot of times, what's a great first BJD? I think this is a great one because it's sweet. She's somewhere in between mature and young. And so she's kind of like this tween age or even teenage doll. I think she's very sweet. The resin's really good quality. She's a good size. And I think she's a great doll, you know, for somebody who's who's wanting to try resin for the first time, but they're not sure what to get. This is a wonderful doll to do that with because they're so beautiful and they're so cool. And then of course there's always smart doll as well. Now smart dolls, the blue dolls are a little bit more expensive and they're not gonna fit into this scholarship category, but the main characters or the mainline dolls, for the most part, they are going to be under that $600 price point and you could choose to get a smart doll with your scholarship. There's lots of other dolls available on the market too for under $600. Now, a question I got last year was, can you just give me the $600 and can I buy like a Popovi doll, which are $1,000? The answer is no to that. I'm not going to do partial payments. What I want to do is I want to show that there are really great BJDs under $600 and I want to be able to gift an entire BJD to someone. So that is kind of the point here. So it's not going to be, I won't be able to do partial, you know, credit towards a doll. So you need to pick out a whole doll. And in your video, I want you to tell me about the doll you've chosen. So for example, if you've chosen a Atelier Mamoni Petusa, you know, I want you to tell me which one you've chosen. I want you to talk about like, if you have character ideas, talk about that. I don't really do characters with my dolls. So I would talk more about like, I, I want this doll and I want to dress them like this and I want them to have this hair color and I want them to have this eye color. So just kind of tell me a little bit about that. Like how you see your doll, if you have character plans, if you don't, kind of how you kind of see them in your collection and stuff like that. So I just want to know, you know, what are your plans with your doll? And I, it's something that I also, I hope, I don't require it, but I hope to see you share, you know, once you receive it, I hope to see you share it, you know, in your Instagram or if you have a YouTube channel there. So anyway. I think I've covered all the bases there. I do reserve the right, if some weird loophole comes up that I didn't think of, I do reserve the right to modify the rules at any time. Um, for the most part, I want this to be as fair as possible and I want it to be a great opportunity for somebody out there to get their dream BJD. And just with a little bit of work on your part, you do have to do the video, you do have to show your face. Um, but other than that, you know, I think this is, it's really fun for me. It's really hard for me to pick a winner. So that's why I made the rubric this year because I'm hoping that's gonna make things a little more scientific on my end. Because I wish I could give everybody one. I truly wish I could give a BJD to everyone, but unfortunately I just can't afford to do that. So anyway, um, but if you have questions, you can leave your questions on this video or you can leave them on the blog post on my website, which of course is gonna be linked below. You can try to message me on Instagram. I miss a lot of messages on Instagram because I get a lot of messages messages um, to my other folder and a lot of them are spammy and stuff like that and so I typically don't go through that so Instagram is probably not the best way to reach me for specific questions about this particular scholarship if you have a question about a scholarship leave it on this video or leave it on the blog post I think I've said all I need to say I can't thank you guys enough for your support and your love that you've shown me over the years. I would really appreciate you sharing this video with anyone that you might know that would be interested in winning a BJD and be interested in putting in the little bit of work that's required for the BJD. Um, I just really, like I said, appreciate everything. Please like this video. Please share it with anybody who, who, who might participate. And please subscribe if you are not so subscribed already. Thanks guys for listening to me talk. Thank you for your support and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon. Lindsay S, Leah W, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Cindy K, Bear Sunflower, Diane B, Kelly L, Cindy L, Susie W, Krista R, Victory Run, Shorna R, Shira Star Hobby, Stephanie W, Jessica S, and Ray M. Your support means so much to me and helps me continue bringing you great Dolly content. For more information on how you can become a supporter of this channel, click the link in the video description. Thank you so much for watching.